So this question looks like a translate word problem question. I know that because of the length of the question, translate word problem questions are usually greater than four lines long. So all we want to do with this strategy, all you want to do with larger word problems is to really read them carefully, uh, read them actively, write down any quantitative information as you see it. Don't read it all the way through and expect that you remembered everything that you read. That's a true, uh, you know, you're on the path to having to reread the question. <clears throat> multiple times, typically, whenever you try that strategy. So we're going to break it down. So this question says, Washington High School randomly selected freshmen, sophomores, juniors, and senior students for a survey about potential changes to next year's schedule. All right, makes complete sense. The next sentence says, of students selected for the survey, one-fourth were freshmen. Okay, so I'm going to write this down as quantitative. So freshmen equals one-fourth of the students. Uh, one third were sophomores, so sophomores equals one third of the students. Half of the remaining students were juniors, so I'm going to say juniors equals, and now this is tricky, so it's not half of the total, it's half remaining, so we'll keep that in mind. And obviously, if juniors are half remaining, seniors must be the other half of the remaining. So hopefully that makes sense. So the question doesn't tell us that, but that's the only thing that makes sense. All right, we take these guys together and we say, okay, now whatever's left over, we're splitting it half to juniors and half to seniors. So the question tells us if 336 students were selected for the survey, okay, that's very important information, how many were seniors? Okay, well, let's figure that out. So we know that the freshmen, which I'll just call F, were equal to one-fourth of the 336. So let's put that in the calculator and see what we get out. So 336 times a fourth, that's 84. So we know that 84 students were freshmen. And then we know sophomores, which I'll just call SO, were one-third of the students um, select it. So one third of 336, and that's going to equal 112. So all together, freshmen and sophomores were 196 students. Well, the remaining part here, the juniors and seniors are based upon a fraction of the remaining number of students. Well, if we had 336 to start off with, but 196 are freshmen and sophomores, then we just have to find the difference of those numbers to figure out how many students are left over. So 336 minus 196 is equal to 140. Okay, so out of 140, we split that in half, right? 70 were juniors and the other 70 were seniors. The question asks us for how many were seniors and therefore our answer here is choice D.